Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Perez Dev here. Today, we're taking a look at the differences between the CompTIA Security Plus, the ISC Squared SSCP, and the ISC Squared CISSP. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what certifications are really going to provide the most value for you from where you currently are and to where you really want to end up. So let's just dive right into the different certifications and understanding the differences between the three. So if you take a look at the CompTIA Security Plus certification, this one's really more of a beginner friendly certification. It's really advertised as the entry level go-to certification to start your security career, to really start your IT career and show you have that competency, that foundation within the security field. So if we actually take a look at the CompTIA Security Plus, we can see that their sort of slogan, if you will, for the certification is CompTIA Security Plus is a global certification that validates the baseline skills necessary to perform core security functions and pursue an IT security career. So again, with the Security Plus, we're really taking a look at, uh, I really wanna dive into security and I want to also showcase that I've developed my understanding of the security fundamentals. So if currently you are new to IT or fairly new to security with no work experience at all and looking to transition into the cybersecurity field or into really IT in general, then this might be the certification for you. Now, taking a look at the ISC squared SSCP certification, SSCP stands for the System Security Certified Practitioner Certification. With this certification, it requires at least one year's worth of experience in the industry with this certification you're able to showcase that you have a little more depth of understanding in the security field so it covers all your bases in terms of fundamentals but it also takes it up a notch by also applying it into the real world examples real world exercises and showing that you can actually apply and figure out these real world problems and examples using the security foundations that we've learned from before so with the SSCP certification, it's really that next step into the cybersecurity career. If you really wanna go ahead and showcase that you have the foundations understanding, for example, from that Security Plus, but then you'll also have a little bit more on top of that because you also have to have working experience in the industry in order to actually get your SSCP certification. So it not only takes the foundations of security, it applies it into the real world using real examples. So this is really more for someone who is looking to maybe either transition into security after having a few years of working experience, maybe just in IT in general, like a desktop support technician or systems admin, but want to transition to security, then this might be the certification for you if you really just have the experience, but you're looking to just get that first job specific to security, but you have at least a few years within the IT industry as a whole. And if we also take a look at the SSCP certification online, we see that with the SSCP certification, it says how SSCP certification demonstrates you have the advanced technical skills and knowledge to implement, monitor, and administer IT infrastructure using security best practices, policies, and procedures established by the cybersecurity experts at ISC Squared. So it's not so much focused on those foundations as it is applying it in the real world and showcasing that you actually not only understand the foundation, but can apply it into the real world for those real world sort of roles. Now transitioning into the CISSP certification, the CISSP is a Certified Information Systems Security Professional. Now that is a mouthful, so we just call it the CISSP. Now this is really the creme de la creme certification in terms of cybersecurity. If you want to transition or just get into the security world or even level up where you currently are in the security world. With the CISSP certification, it requires five years of work experience in the industry within at least two of the seven security domains for ISC Squared. You can feel free to check out the link down in the description below but pretty much you have to have a fair amount of experience and exposure into the security world on top of passing the exam to become CISSP certified. And so what you want for the CISSP certification when you're going after it, it's really in order to showcase that you not only have that breadth of knowledge in security, it's to also showcase that you understand more of the big picture operations of the security world. So not only do you actually understand 
or maybe even it's not so much focused in on the more technical aspect of security, but it's more so that you understand the big picture operations, you understand disaster recovery, you understand the decision making processes behind the security operations. So thinking sort of like a CISO or a director of security, you have that more managerial mindset in terms of managing your resources, managing you know, physical resources, just managing your resources for the overall organization so the business can minimize and mitigate as much risk as possible with as much, you know, profit for the business overall financially on the upside. You know, if you can go ahead and make decisions on what's good, what's bad, right, in terms of security. So with the CISSP certification, it's really focused on saying and showcasing that you understand the thinking and the decision making and the processes of being a security manager, director, and up. And if we take a look at the CISSP website, we can go ahead and see earning the CISSP proves you have what it takes to effectively design, implement, and manage a best in class cyber security program. So again, with the CISSP, this is really for anyone who is looking to prove or showcase that they have the managerial mindset and skill set to really understand the cybersecurity processes and think like a security manager, director, VP, you know, CISO, understand just the processes and operations for security. But it's a little less technical, a little more big picture, larger scope. So again, to really break it down, the CompTIA Security Plus is great for anybody who wants to start in the IT career or just start in their cybersecurity career and want to build up the technical experience. With the SSCP, this is great for anybody who already has a few years of experience in IT, but maybe either want to transition into security or perhaps want to go ahead and take their security field a step further. Maybe they're still in a more entry-level security role. You can go for the SSCP to showcase that you have a little more depth for the security field. But in that case, you might also consider even the CISSP. The CISSP also shows added depth because you have to have so many years of experience within the actual security world. But it's also more high-level manager, a little less technical, because you're more focused on the big picture operations and how everything is going to function in terms of decision making and security operations. So now it's really a matter of taking a look at where you currently are now. Do you have zero experience in the industry? Do you have a few years? Do you have a lot of experience in the industry? And then also looking at where do you want to go in your life? Do you want to go and become a security manager in the next couple of years? Then CISSP is probably great for you. Do you want to just get a job in the industry and see if you like it or just build up your skill set? Then maybe the Security Plus or the SSCP is good for you. But again, when it comes to deciding what certifications you really want to go for, it's simply a matter of taking a look at where you are currently in the current moment and what you have done. You know, how much experience do you have? What projects have you worked on? And where would you like to go? And understanding if you want to go and become a manager, great. CISSP, that's the one for you. If you want to start in the industry, then of course, CompTIA Security Plus is the one for you. So hopefully this video has been informative for you. It's helped you really narrow down where you are or what certification you really want to tackle. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment down in the section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Perez Dev. And thanks for watching.